everyone, my name is Alex Kigerl. You're about to see a film I made about a very special house and about some of the people who lived in it over the last 75 years. While I was a fourth grade student at Yaquina View Elementary School in Newport, Oregon, my teacher, Mrs. Keith, gave the class an Oregon research assignment. My parents and I talked about it and decided to tell the story about the last house of Yaquina. Here is the last house of Yaquina as it stood in 1933 when it was the Standard Oil Company house. Oil was shipped by the Yaquina Railroad and then transported by boat to Newport. Esther Kilmer and her family lived in the house then when she was in the fourth grade. Her dad worked for the railroad. Here are some actual pictures of the house. Here is a small portion of the house in Yaquina City. Here is the standard oil tank too. Here's a picture of the front porch of the house. Here is the fence they needed to keep out the cattle. Notice the old the railroad tracks and the storefronts. Here is the cow that wandered around Yaquina City as you can see. Here is, a, here is Esther Kelmer's family on the front porch of the house. Here is Esther Kelmer's brother with a fish that he caught. Kilmer with her dog. Here is what life might have been like back then. Here is Esther on the right and here is her dog on the left. Here are Esther's classmates at Yaquina School in 1934. Esther is in the middle top row. The girls mostly wore dresses, and some of the boys wore bib overalls. Esther said she was very happy living in Yaquina. Yaquina came into existence because of the railroad. A southerner Colonel Hogg founded the Corvallis and Yaquina Railroad, hoping to connect it with a major railroad going across country and to make Yaquina the major rail line of Oregon. The Yaquina Railroad opened on July 4th, 1885. People came to Yaquina to vacation and to take the ferry to Newport. The rails carried wheat, which went by boat to California, and took salmon, apples, and cheese from Yaquina. Oil also came in to be shipped by boat to Newport. For a while, the railroad was successful. 2,000 people lived there. There was a school and church. 
Also, a hotel, sawmill, three salmon canneries, a bank, shipyard, telegraph office, dock and warehouses, railroad, machine shop, store, standard oil, of course, and other businesses. However, the town never became the major railroad line of Oregon. Other railroads became bigger, and with the help of the Great Depression of 1929, Colonel Hogg lost money, and the railroad closed in 1935. With no railroad, there was no job for Esther's family, and also no, no oil for the Standard Oil Company. Esther's family moved to Toledo in about 1935, and the house stood empty. Esther felt sad about leaving. Here it is in Yaquina, shortly before barging. Here is the barge on the water. Here we are at Newport's Bayfront. in Newport was a policeman. Colonel Metcalf lived there until about 1985 when Wayne Kigarol bought the house. The house was a little run down. Looking out the front door. We decided to fix up the old First, we tore out the old wood. Here is a view of the bayfront. And here's the house. Now we're going up the hill to Highway 101 and back down to the Bayfront. My family decided to move in.
After all the years, Esther comes by and is very happy to see her house all fixed up. And she looks around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eventually it turned into a popular coffee house in all kinds of weather. And this is Esther and her husband today. You can still find the old foundation of the house. 